The people of the Democratic Federation of Northern Syria, or Rojava, have built a society based on the teachings of Abdullah Öcalan. The society is one of democratic confederalism, uh, grassroots democracy rejecting the imposition of the state. Coalitions between the local Assyrian, Arab and Kurdish populations have created a society run on principles of a communal economy, harmony with the environment and self-government. Since defeating ISIS in the region, Rojava has existed as an island of stability or social peace in a very hostile and dangerous environment. However, in December 2018, President Trump unexpectedly announced the immediate withdrawal of US troops from northern Syria after a phone call with President Erdogan of Turkey. Turkey immediately began preparations for the invasion of Roger. Despite the US subsequently qualifying the speed and timescale of the withdrawal, the area remains hugely vulnerable to attack by Turkey. Should that occur, there is no doubt we will see a repeat of the war crimes and ethnic cleansing that took place in Afrin in January 2018. In October 2019, Trump effectively gave the green light to Erdogan to continue and expand his invasion of Rojava. The Turkish state calls this offensive Operation Peace Spring. This has resulted in a humanitarian catastrophe as hundreds of thousands of civilians flee the region. Turkey has used banned white phosphorus bombs on civilians, causing horrific burns. Its jihadist mercenaries have summarily executed countless civilians, including the Kurdish politician Hevrin Kalaf. And now, in this chaos, we face the resurgence of ISIS. The ideas of Abdullah Rajalan have taken concrete form in Rojava in the social contract, which enshrines gender equality, freedom of religion, and the right to join trade unions amongst its core tenants. This community democracy is built around neighborhood communes or committees. From health to education and defense, these communes ensure that every aspect of the society is democratically controlled by the community itself. The Rojava revolution is also a struggle for an ecological society. Destruction of the environment has long been used as a weapon against the Kurds, from the widespread deforestation enacted by the Syrian regimes to the destruction of water sources by ISIS and the Turkish state's restriction on the flow of rivers keeping Rojava at a permanent risk of drought. In Rojava, vital work is taking place to reduce over-reliance on wheat, pesticides and water-intensive crops, and a more diverse harvest is planted each year. They are also establishing tree planting to restore fertility and stability to the land for generations to come. Rojava is a beacon of light in the Middle East. Religious and ethnic minorities are valued, protected and represented in the decision-making bodies. Women's rights and equality stand at the very heart of the system that has been established, a system of co-chairs in all committees, ensuring gender parity is built into the highest levels of decision-making. Each council has a minimum quota of 40% representation of each gender, with the remainder of places determined according to votes. Committees also have built-in representation of Christian and Arab communities. There is no state army, but the People's and Women's Protection Units, the YPG and the YPJ. The people of Rojava stress that they are not a Kurdish region, but a region with a different approach. An approach that stresses gender equality, inclusiveness, tolerance, equality for ethnic and religious minorities and democratic participation for all. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it useful. Uh, there are many more available on topics important to our campaign and you can find those in the playlists in brief. If you want longer form content, we also produce podcasts that are available on all the podcast platforms of choice and they're also available as a playlist on this channel. If you want to find out more about any of the topics we've covered here today, please go to our website, which is freedomforpudgelamp.org, where you can 
learn more about our campaign, and importantly, if you want to support our goals, you can affiliate as either an individual or as a representative of an organisation such as a trade union branch or committee. We're also on Twitter, where you can find us at Utcherland Free. We hope you found this video informative and useful, uh, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.